success for WCE means that everybody in the organization is a champion for the organization. That everybody in the organization thrives off of their accomplishments, knows that they contributed to something bigger, something better, and to a whole collection of people and businesses that can better the entire world. It means that our customers love what we do. It means that they don't want anybody else doing it. And it means that they achieve that peace of mind that they're looking for in every single time they pick up the phone. Now it's about building a legacy, not just for me, but for everybody here. One of the differences between us and other service companies is that Josh and I were in the field for a long time, me especially, working at the bakery, all those hours on, on salary, you know, I knew how not to treat the guys because we know what they go through. We understand the gruels of it. I don't care what it is. You can be a garbage man. If you have passion for that, you'll be the best damn garbage man out there. It doesn't matter what you're doing. If you have passion for it, everything else falls into place. The money will follow, everything will follow. So yeah, I do see the passion. I see it in both my boys. And especially when you see him at these conferences and his speaking and this last one that he's at this week, I get a text message from a guy I haven't spoken to in 10 years. Oh, I can read it to you, it's pretty wild. Really? Yeah. yeah. Guy I haven't talked to in years. Hey Joel, hope you're doing great. Just wanted to shoot you a note that I attended FedCon today and got to meet Josh and watch him give his presentation. I'm sure you were extremely proud of him. I hope my kiddos end up as dedicated and impressive as he is to his career, his life journey, and his family. 10 years I haven't talked to this guy. Out of the blue, get that. But that was pretty wild. So when you ask about passion, apparently it's there. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people think that if you write a book, and a best-selling book at that, that that's how you make your money. You sell the book and then you become rich. <laughs> that's not how it works, okay? Spoiler alert. <laughs> it's just not how it works. But there's what I like to call a soft ROI. Writing the book and being able to spread my thoughts, opinions, and knowledge about the industry, both through the book and through the podcast, have led to some incredibly rewarding opportunities for me personally. I'm able to connect with people all over the world, just the connections that come from it, the networking that I'm able to, to draw from, from being able to talk to these people and you know being able to recruit people that have been on the podcast because we have a shared mission, because we have a shared vision and we are, we're passionate about the same things. To be able to have high schools from across the country reach out to me and say, I love what you're doing. Your book is in our library. Or I'd love to buy 5,000 copies to hand out to all of our students. To me, that's impact. To me, that's a mission accomplished. When I was starting out in this industry, I was looking for resources to tell me what kind of opportunities there were, what I had to do, how to do it. Come to find out, none of it existed. I had always wanted to make a mark, right? My wife knows that better than anybody because I always said to her, before I die, I want to write a book. I was looking for all of this stuff and I, I, I couldn't find it. I went on living my life, but I knew that somebody had to, so I just kept waiting and kept complaining. And finally she looked at me and she said, why don't you just write a damn book? And I said, you know what, that's a great idea. <laughs>
because they don't think that they can. Not in this industry. They don't know what exists within it. And so I felt like I had to tell them. The future of Windy City as a whole, as an organization, we want to be in markets across the United States. We want to be able to provide the services that we've been able to provide here in Phoenix and in the markets we've expanded to, to the customers that are asking for it, right? To the, to the employees and to the technicians that are asking to be a part of it. You know, we want to expand these opportunities that we've created for everybody to everybody. It's a tall ask and you know, I understand that, but I think that it's doable. And I think that the more areas that we're in, the more we can make an impact, not only on the people, not only on the facilities, but the industry as a whole. And ultimately that's, that's where we wanna go. Right, we, we wanna be the perfect combination of structure and family that you don't see in this industry. That you really don't see in any industry. People don't do it because it's hard. But one of the values that we have in our organization is to embrace challenge. And I think we're up for it. I think the entire team is up for it, and I know that we can accomplish it. That's a, that's a tough question because, you know, success is um, my kids, my grandkids are healthy. I'm happy. Um, I get to drive to work every day. And, you know, I used to think that it was success was my wife didn't have to work, and that was pretty cool when you can have a stay-at-home mom. Um, but it's not always about money, it's about, you know, quality of life. And everyone says, you don't have a life, you work all the time. Yeah, but it's my passion. So I get to go to work every day. I don't have to go to work, I get to go to work. That's success. Success for me, success for me, here's the thing about success, okay? It changes, it changes often. If you were to ask me what my idea of success was when I was 15 years old, it would be it would be the fastest car on the block. Okay, that was success to me, and I've got 16 tickets to prove it. You know, not anymore. Those are all off my record. All right, but success to me is really it's something more, right? I've always I've always wanted more. I've always wanted to hang my hat on something to build something bigger than myself, to contribute to something and make a mark while being regarded as a good person and a hard worker, both by my colleagues, my friends, my family, my kids. I wanna set a good example for those around me and I wanna lift people up. You know, I really, at the end of the day, if I can do that for one or two people, I think I'd consider myself a success.